Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding project employees part 2 and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Facebook interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called project with two different columns, project ID, employee ID, the combined columns project ID and employee ID being the primary key of this table. Employee ID is also a foreign key to the employee table. Each row of this table indicates that the employee with employee ID is working on the project with project ID. Okay. We are also given a second table called employee with three different columns, employee ID, name and experience in years, employee ID being the primary key of this table and each row of this table contains information about one employee. Okay. We are asked to write a SQL query that reports all the projects that have the most employees and the order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we have two different projects, right? Project ID 1 and 2. On project ID 1, how many employees are working? 1, 2, 3. So 3, right? And for project ID 2, there are two employees that are working on it, right? Similarly, and this is the information, more information about the employee table, right? So employee ID 1, name, experience, etc. Now, obviously, if you look at it, what, what is the project ID where maximum number of uh, employees are working? So project ID 1, right? Because three employees are working and that is what the output is going to be. So if you look at it, we don't even need this employee table for this question, right? All we need to do is for each of the project, let's find out how many employees are working. And then based on that, we will see that wherever the number of employees on a particular project is equal to the maximum value, just return the project ID. Okay, let's start building this query. So from this table, called project let's group by right project id right and let's return the project id and then count the number of employees right so the count employee id so number of employees and let's alias this as num of employee right so basically what is this going to give for each of the project ID, how many employees are working on it? Let me just run this. This is not complete. So obviously this is going to be a wrong answer. But yeah, if you see pro project ID 1, 3 people are working. Project ID 2, 2 people are working, right? So we have this. Now what we can do is we can store this in a common table expression. So with CT as, and this entire thing goes into parentheses. Now what we need to do is we need to find out the project ID where the maximum employees are working, right? So from this common table expression where, right, number of employees, right, where number of employees is equal to the maximum value, right? So where is number of employees is equal to return maximum value of number of employees from this common table expression right why we are doing this right and not doing you know order by number of ex uh, employees in decreasing order and then limit one because that is also going to give you the highest number of employees right but actually here it says if you read the question thoroughly it says all the projects that have most employees right so let's say there were two projects right where the number of employees is equal to like are seen and also maximum right so in the method that i described earlier so in that case only one out of those projects is going to be in the output but we don't need to do that we need to identify all the projects where the maximum number of employees are working right so that is what this is going to do so it does not matter how many you know projects the maximum number of employees are working on it will keep all those rows where number of employees is equal to the maximum value right and then once you have that you just simply need to return the project id because that is what the output is so return project id and since we don't need to order this by anything this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again very simple question all we had to do was identify for each of the project ids how many employees are working and then based on this wherever the number of employees is equal to the maximum value you just return the project id 
and the thing that we need to keep in mind is why we are doing this rather than order by and then decreasing manner order by and decreasing manner and limiting it to the first value because we need the question says all the projects that have the most employees right so this is how we do it let me know in the comment section if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of for solving this problem let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video